also, uh, whatchamacallit, there used to be a lot more pet in here. I'm glad that's gone down. Nope, we're oh. still active. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. The early days, it was a hellscape. Oh, like three years, it was just, just oh, disgusting nonsense. But then they had to fix it up, I guess, because too many parents or something complained. I don't know. It's just, it got bad at a certain point, man. Before VR Chat Mobile became a thing, Virtual Droid became one of the first to capitalize on the Android platform as the VR Chat alternative to go to, and in a lot of ways has some resemblance of a community where anyone can upload their custom skin for others to see. However, all is not what it seems, as there has been word regarding the original developer getting arrested over possibly one of the most heinous crimes committed, as rumored, and we're looking to bring this to light, if true, find out what happened and where the new direction of this game is going. There's a lot of disinformation going on and rumors from the game shutting down to the shutdown of the community, aka Knet, where this game once had its own social media built right into it. Although there aren't that many maps to explore, as the game keeps updating and changing things around, some of these maps has a degree of luminality, and I also want to cover some relatively horrible people that plagues this game. I've also created some memories when I was checking out this game, and even went to hang out with some people that have also contributed to making this video possible. So I will let this man talk about this game as he seems to know more about it than I do, plus more. So here it is. Hello, hello everybody. My name is The Nameless. Today, I'm gonna play a little power to you, Land Rider here, and tell him a few things about Virtual Droid. Go ahead and ask anything you want. Alright. So, uh, tell me exactly what do you know about this game and what's uh, been going on around? As someone that's been in the game since the start, I've seen quite a lot of things. One thing I noticed was it always was weird. Nothing was really consistent in the way. Huh, really? Like, how weird are we talking about? Are we talking about the people around here, or are we talking game, or glitches, or the whole environment? The environment, honestly. If we talk about the people, I would say the community is quite weird, but not really something that would make it something different. Hmm, I see. Okay. What I feel like is a destruction to me. This whole game feels like a destruction to something. Destruction? Uh, can you elaborate that more? If you wish. The destruction is like they're trying to hide something, and I feel like I know what that is. Uh, what do you think they're trying to hide? Oh, do you really want to know? It is quite a dangerous world out there. Well, um, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's why I asked. If you say so, I feel like... Do you know the owner of the game? He has been quite shady since the start of this game. Never looked for money, never looked for much, honestly. But something tells me that he tried to go into the darkest parts. If you want to say. Huh, really? Like, uh, like what do you think, uh, the owner of this game, uh, is really, really up? Well, I don't know much. He has tried to block many of my ways, but I've seen a few things. Have you ever noticed how many people act a bit different, like they were some kind of robot? Actually, uh, sometimes I notice some people act like, like they're NPCs to a degree. Other times they're just randomly spewing out things, which is, tends to happen. And other times met some, some very questionable individuals from various parts of the world. That seems to be something that tends to happen anywhere else on the internet. Here's my theory. I believe that the owner was a trafficker and a very dangerous man at that tried to do a few things that I shouldn't say, as it wouldn't be too good. Oh, so you do believe that he has some the demon trap? Not just that. I also believe that he uses our accounts for something. I don't really believe- no. What? Huh. So, do you believe Virtual Droid is some kind of a, a botnet or some front for, for data mining? 
No, no, not something like that. More like... Hmm, how do I say this? Like I said earlier, a destruction. I believe that this game was made to destruct everyone, even the police and any other kind of people, hiding the fact that everything is right in front of them. Since I joined the game, I saw the glitches and everything else. But normally, the owner should have fixed it all, right? But he... But they never did. They only updated, like they wanted us to forget about it. Hmm, I see. I'm guessing it doesn't take much priority on seeing up the game, since it's taking him this long to sub several other, uh, glitch- Yes, some of the glitches have been fixed because of the annoyance of the community but as you can see most of them are still here crashing getting blocked out of the game and not being able to ban some people mm -hmm. i don't know if you have noticed but there is even something else have you noticed there is a lack of security actually um i think if anything it's more like i get I've at first, I thought this game was just nothing more than just really, really simplified type of, type of account. However, I've been able to get on this game without even needing to sign up, and it just used my the Android ID. I guess that that's now my considered an account for me to enter. Yes. No. Nope. Even your password is the most simple thing. Anybody can break it. Well, they can use it, in my opinion. Huh. So, do you think uh, the the developer can actually see the passwords and they can do anything they want with it, including sabotaging any kind of account on here? Yes, and I would say this. Without a account or any type of thing that, somebody like the owner can look at anything. Usually, a account is used to protect yourself from even the owner, so the owner is not allowed to look at it. But, in this case, the owner is allowed to look at anything he wants, even the smallest detail. Well, that sounds quite concerning, considering that only the individual that made the account use <laughs> Not right. You got something wrong right there. You're not the only one who can use it. Oh jeez. Do you want me to explain a little bit better? Uh, sure. Elaborate more on- Alright. I have seen some people change. Friends that played with me quite a while. And sometimes it feels like it's not the same person. Like somebody took over their account. And I wouldn't say it's a hacker. They used to be at this game, but they mysteriously disappeared. All of them gone. But their account are still alive. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Okay, that seems pretty ominous. Well, the thing is, I believe they're dead. Oh, that went quickly. <sighs> Any questions apart from that? Uh, yeah, um, I got, I got another one, so... Alright, so, from what I'm seeing here, uh, do you know, like, uh, any other part of the history of this game? Like, has there been any major events or any, anything noteworthy that would have otherwise been forgotten or would not be known outside the game? An old Christmas event. A very, very old Christmas event. I don't believe anybody actually knows this apart from me. There was a secret area that you could go to. There was a secret message. I should say. Secret message. It'd appear from nowhere. It would say it's over. Well, we're definitely talking about some creepy pasta territory right here. <laughs> no, I believe it's somebody from the owner itself warning us about the game. I don't know who, but since that day, the little secret was gone. Huh, a secret? Yes. Well, it was more like an Easter egg. But if you try to look for it now, nobody would even remember. As it was such an... How do I say this? People didn't really care about it. They thought it was just a little easter egg that the owner made for them. Hmm, I'm guessing it's just one of the things that he might have did around and if anyone find it. Kind of like a practical joke, perhaps. Oh, I do have one more thing that is quite interesting. Did you hear that the owner was arrested? Actually, I didn't know he was arrested and mentioned. <laughs> yes, all eyes were gone from him, and suddenly he just got arrested. The last update was not too long ago, so I would say he got arrested during a few weeks ago. 
I do not know what he did, but the police 100% found him. Huh, seems like uh, he has been done to have caught in the attention of the authority. Probably had to be something pretty shady. Oh, it wasn't just shady, that's for sure. <laughs> Apologies, I can have my little moments. Alright, um, do you think, uh, do you think if the owner of this game got arrested, who else is even in charge of maintaining, or better yet, how long ago has the arrest if it's been? Hmm, if I had to guess, oh, it would either go to one of his family members, or the police official, official took it. If the police did take it, the game will probably shut down in like around the same time that VR chat comes out. Hmm. Well, that seems quite of a timing there. If this game is shut down with uh, sometime this year, or even however long it's going to take sooner. Even if it isn't shut down, I believe that the game would be abandoned, as VR chat is more known, uh, more known than VR droid, of course. Yeah, though I've barely found out about this game literally <laughs> back in November of last year. I'm guessing I am the first person to ever tell. If anything. Thing. You're the first person to have told me a bit of additional information that I wouldn't have known if I didn't look around or even if I come across might know something, champ. You were quite lucky, but anyways, going back to the ad, did you know that it could be, it could be still someone, but hmm, how do I explain? The admin are considered dead at the moment, but what if they're not? What if they're kept? Well, if that's the case, then wouldn't there be some kind of a record, kind of a death certificate? Somewhere, or any indication that they've been this the thing no one have, has ever talked about it. no one knows where the admins are no one. man another rabbit in on itself talking about the admin especially if they have something to hide honestly i would think they do if they knew the owner as the owner would have needed to give them admin permission of course then i would think that that this should be part of the how do i say it a little trafficking yeah but then it makes you wonder how many have the owners or whoever they are, how many people have they trafficked and do they even use this game to traffic their victims? They don't. They don't use this game to traffic them. They use the game as a distraction. Do I have to repeat myself every time? Oh, right. Distraction. <sighs> they use something else. Very, very dirty tactically. Take their families, take people. Even some of the admins were once very nice people. But after what happened, they were. They changed. Chain analogy change their their whole denimer dem ah, their whole denimer change. Yes, this sounded more dead, more des more willing, dear man. So around the time where they disappeared too. Like how long ago are we talking? Virtual Droid Two about two thousand. Uh, apologies, my brain is a little bit fuzzy. Nah, it's fine. Try to remember. 2008. Well, a couple years ago then. How's it going, buddy John? Apologies, no. Sorry? We have it. We're Anyways, let's keep going. Just mute them. Yeah, we're kind of in then. Yes, as I said, a couple of years ago. Yes, go on. I'll just cut that part out. That was quite annoying, but anyway. As you can see, it's been quite a while now, but... Would you know... Would you like to know a little secret? What kind of a secret? How many were in, and when did... How many disappeared? Um, I'd... It is quite fine if you don't wish to know. I would actually... Alright, I would say... There used to be around... 15, 15 admins when I joined the game myself, and there should be, there were 30 at least now, when the game kept going on, but about 50 people disappeared, not counting the admins of course, the admins of course just 30, but there were 20 other people miss. Hmm. These are staff members of the game or creators of the, of the, as you can see, we need some people to create everything here. Those are the other people that disappeared. So they started with 15, and now there have been less as of As of late, we haven't seen any, actually. We haven't even heard anything about a new update, a new anything, actually. Nothing at all. Yeah, that's very, very... Hmm. Oh, I do think you have noticed the amount of dangerous people in this game. They kinda disappeared without a trace, but in my opinion, I feel like there's a few clues that you could find on the map. 
Have you ever seen the top of the the whole map of camp before? The whole map of camp? Yes, like an area of looking down at the whole map. No, I've never I've never seen that part of the map. I would tell you there are a lot of I wonder if your community would know some of them. They would need to look quite a lot, but there are some codes if I have to codes like kind of hands I've been No no, more like text. A type of text and some numbers. In my opinion I would think it's a location. Hmm. Like, so I'm guessing uh, that would be uh, of that map. Yes, but I don't believe that there is whole, the whole text here, yeah? so unfortunately I have not found where the location I see. What is the next question? Another thing, the one, I guess I could say that a bit of, a bit of history, like maybe each map if there is. Yes, you, you're quite smart, say. Eh? But yes, there is a story. Each from the first, the first map to this one. Every single map there is a story. Apart a few that are quite plain. But if I have to say, there is a story. Alright, um, we can start out by, by this map that we're currently on. This map. I believe this map explains a few things about the developer itself. This school seems familiar to a school and familiar that to one that is real. Have you ever heard of a broken down school that is, has been gone for quite a while? Well, I mean, I have heard, I have seen instances in abandoned war. What I think this school, this place is, is a school where eh, the developer once went to. Where we are at right now might be one of the storage areas or somewhere where the smaller, ch the smaller kids would go to. And the main school area would be over there. I'm guessing some kind of a yes. elementary school of sorts. Of sort. This part, yes, but over there would be high school. Oh. So maybe the developer went to school like this. I was, as far as I'm aware, from my... I would say this is a school more likely to be in bigger countries. As you saw in the football area over there. It is quite big. Not something you would get in small countries or... Poor countries, poor countries. So is uh, England, USA, and things like that. Hmm, I was kind of thinking it catered some Eastern Asian region. You could be right, you could be right. But it is not really confirmed, as not many people talk about this. See. I believe you noticed this, but most people on this game are dead. Pretty much brain dead. And don't really talk about why the game is so... How do I say this? Weird? Hmm, I guess uh, people on here don't have too many... If anything, some of these people don't even have any thinking what I'm... True, true. But there are some golden apples. A friend of mine actually does a lot of theories. I have never really talked about with him about any of this, but if I ever did, I would think he would say quite a few things, just like... Oh. Maybe I will bring him in another video. I will not think else about that. Alright. Well, we could talk about the community, if you wish. Alright. Well, as you can see, there are more than one type of people in this game, as I can say. You have probably seen pedophiles and more. I have seen some of your videos, actually, and I can see you have dealt with some of those type of people. Uh, yes, we have. Well, there are more than one in this game of ours. There are murderers, there are so many. Not really one. I would even say I'm one of them. But we do not want to talk about my part. I do. I would have to kill you. <laughs> I'm joking about it. Oh, man. Oh, man. But like I said, the community is quite interesting. If you even try to you look anywhere, you would find somebody dangerous or... Acting. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, you could say that I have. What else would you like to know about the community? When I actually go enter the community, there seems to be some some uh, large uh, individual, quite a bit of a following. Do you know anything about them? They were... some of them were very, very old people in this game, but some have disappeared. I am... I am pretty sure you wouldn't know much, would you, since you're still a bit new. Yeah. 
Well, truly, there isn't much of a story. It's more like they became popular slowly. As the game grew, they became popular at the same time as some, how do I say it, celebrities of maybe they would know some things, but I do not believe so. As I have met one of them that was 11th in the rankings. She was a, she was quite a person, a kind individual, but I do not believe she was, she had any part in the game itself. Yeah, I mean, it just it doesn't seem like they just got in the game and then and then appeared. I'm I'm very sure they probably made friends, probably done something, an event happened. If there are any of the only events that are known is the updates, the Christmas updates, the Halloween. The top three always are different. They change every so often. They never stay the same person. If you look at the leaderboard every so often. You would see that everything changes quite rapidly, sometimes after a week, sometimes even after a day. Oh, like, like for whatever reason they can't seem to make up their mind, but maybe they change based off of a certain event, a certain scenario, something else that might be going on, or maybe they're changing for specific individuals, perhaps? Perhaps the last part you said, specific individuals. As you can see, the more popular somebody is, the more power they have. I see. What do you think? Well, they have that much power, then I'm guessing they can probably make the decisions. Whoever do watch them or look at their posts would do the same thing as them. As people usually like to do the same thing as popular people, as you can see in real life. Let's consider your YouTube channel on this. People come to you asking you how to do these types of videos and how to... Oh, Omega, don't they? Power goes well with popularity. Yeah, I mean... But that's all I can say about the leaderboard. What else now? Alright, the game is shutting down and there's a be that developers might not have any other plans on what to be done with game. If there are any, I'm guess I'm guessing that might be it. There might be no more and I'm guessing the time VR chat mobile comes out, that's everybody that from Vroid uh, not Vroid, I mean I mean virtual droid would just move on. There is no more grass, it will go somewhere else. But if there is grass, we'll keep eating. Right. I am pretty sure you asked this already, but I can explain a little bit more if you wish. Ah uh, yes, the community could die, and but there is a chance that it survives. If, as I say, if somebody takes over the game, and if that happens, the game would be quite different. I don't believe that the game would be the same anymore, and there won't be any more dangerous things. There might even be a change in the whole logo, so... How do I if they're gonna change the game, they have to change the logo. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to recover some of the footage as it got damaged while trying to reconnect, and this is as much as I'm able to get so far. So, I'm aware that this is using footage from the 2023 version from a long overdue project that I wanted to work on, and I'm aware that community no longer exists according to the developers where the service got shut down and haven't been able to transition everything, losing a lot of contents in the process. So I'm only left with whatever I was able to save and the backup I've made before it all went down. So in other words, this is a take on the whole virtual droid developer situation that raises more questions than answers, if any of this is true or not. But we'll have to wait and see. Till then, this is LR7 asking about the dark side of virtual droid and logging out i want to give you advice stay single don't be with a relationship Rest me. okay if you say so i mean i, I mean, would i would not trust that advice <laughs>